Hello and welcome to the Autism Spectrum Disorder Guy YouTube channel. This channel will have a large variety of show topics that I will both inform people with current news and about different issues and then give my opinion on those topics. First of all, ASD Guy stands for Autism Spectrum Disorder Guy. I would not say that I have low functioning autism. I would say that I am much closer to high functioning autism. Basically picture uh, Jimmy Fallon, Stephen Colbert, Conan O'Brien, and Matt Damon in your head. I am basically the complete opposite of them in the charisma department. Trust me, I know how I have a weird voice and I look weird and I don't have much confidence. I would appreciate if you don't remind me in the comments section of my, dis of my deficiencies. The truth is, I am not normal. I have a mental disability. It has slowed me down my entire life. This channel, first and foremost, is a personal journal of my ever-changing ideas and opinions. I understand that I am not going to reach a large audience with my low charisma ability, but this isn't television, this is YouTube. Maybe two or three people could find my opinions interesting. Maybe they won't. There are nine different sh There will be uh, about nine different shows on this channel, which are basically nine divisions of my areas of interest. Um, I will have a show about video game analysis, a show about politics analysis, a show about TV and movie analysis, a show about comedy, anal comedy analysis, a show about philosophy analysis, a show about business analysis, a show about technology analysis, a show about social science analysis, and a show about sports analysis. And, well, anyone who knows anything about creating YouTube channels will tell you that this is a terrible idea to divide my audience into nine different categories, opposite categories. Someone may be interested in sports and video games, for example, and not care whatsoever about social sciences or business. But what all these topics have in common is that they uh, interest me personally, and I am pretty darn knowledgeable about each of them. For people that don't know about uh, the autism spectrum, according to the National Institute of Mental Health, quote, People with autism spectrum disorder often have these characteristics, ongoing social problems that include difficulty communicating and interacting with others, end quote. So you might ask, what do we do when we have such so much difficulty communicating with others? Well, each of us usually becomes obsessed with certain things. Something I learned from Owen Suskind from a great movie called Life Animated is that some of us become obsessed with Disney movies or superhero movies or one specific topic or another. In the TV show The Good Doctor, the main character who is on the spectrum is obsessed with medicine and being the best doctor he can be. In the TV show Atypical, the main character is obsessed with icebergs and Antarctica. Of note, I only saw the beginning of the first episode of that show because it didn't really interest me. So for me personally, I have a large quantity of knowledge about the nine topics that I'm making shows about. The key thing is, I would not say I'm an expert on any one of these topics. Even if, even if I divided these topics into three categories and then just picked one category, then I still wouldn't have, I would still have a hard time giving news and commentary on a high level. You see, I've tried making a YouTube channel before. It was about my favorite video game, Overwatch. The problem was, even though I was very knowledgeable about Overwatch, I don't truly have the best strategies to automatically win at the game. Other YouTube channels have always uh, would, would always be more intelligent, more charismatic, more useful, more ahead of the curve than I would be. Honestly, I found myself just echoing what they said on their programmings, their programs. I've had a similar issue with political blogs I've created in the, in uh, many years ago. I would just echo ideas I heard on the Chris Matthews show that day. Um, I've been thinking for a long time about, about the best way for me to encapsulate my knowledge and share it on the internet to whomever wanted to listen. I'm pretty sure, at least right now, the best way to do this is to make this basically like a personal journal of everything that piques my interest. I've never kept or written a journal in my life, so this will be a first. Long term, it is quite possible that some of my shows will become more popular than other shows and than my other shows, but in that case I will get rid of or expand upon different shows. We'll see what happens. Um, 
Maybe it will be easier for me to discuss certain topics more than I previously thought. I am ready to adapt either way. In this opening video, I would like to go over my personal life. I am currently unemployed. I was working as a bagger and a cashier at a few retail stores. I reached a point, however, that my social anxiety made it unbearable to constantly be around so many people. I am looking for a job that is easier, maybe like a janitor or something that doesn't require such great degrees of communication and, and interaction. I've reached a really strange point where I just get really bad anxiety being around other people. I suppose that it would be my dream job to be a professional YouTuber. I also know that that is a pipe dream and I should continue my job search. I have an appointment with the local vocational rehabilitation office which helps people with disabilities find work in about a week from now. I will hopefully figure something out. I So I spend my free time in various ways. I play a lot of video games, mostly Overwatch. I enjoy watching YouTube videos of people talking about various topics. I enjoy watching Netflix movies and shows. I watch some sports, mostly basketball and esports. I read basically every new article from the New York Times and the Washington Post, sometimes the Wall Street Journal or any of the hundreds of other websites that could offer news and opinion pieces. I don't really socialize at all. And I always get dumbfounded looks anytime I tell people that I don't socialize, nor do I want to. As someone on the spectrum, I kind of hate talking to people. My brain doesn't effectively communicate in a conversational setting. I'm probably much better at giving a speech like this to the world than I am at talking to a person in front of me. I always get a headache when I talk to other people. That's why I failed at cashiering. I just got to a point where I could not deal with the various problems that a customer would have. Yes, I know that cashiering is extremely easy for normal people. However, I am not normal. I don't enjoy hanging out with friends, whatever that is. I don't enjoy, I don't understand why people do that. Uh, what, what enjoyment do people get when they're in a group of people? When I'm in a group of people, the first thing I'm always thinking is, when the hell can I get out of here? I despise parties because they are loud and there are multiple people. The more people are around me, the more freaked out I get. Um, another word to describe me is a nerd. I'm totally fine with that word. Look, everyone is different. If we were all the same, then that would make life boring. Uh, I enjoy reading about history and science fiction. I play a large quantity of video games and I am proud of that. Maybe if I wasn't on the spectrum for autism, then I would live my life differently. But then it wouldn't be me now, would it? Additionally of note, I have an associate's degree in business management, which doesn't help me in my career really. I did take a bunch of interesting classes that changed how I see a few things. I do not have a bachelor's degree because even though I spent four and a half years full-time in college and studying my absolute hardest with a tutor, my learning disability made learning the topics of finance and accounting extremely hard and virtually impossible. And even if I did graduate, what would I even do when I'm pretty sure the, the job I'm most mentally qualified for is a janitor? And if you say, well, with your level of articulation, surely you could do many complex jobs. I will then respond back saying, you don't understand how severe my mental disability is. I have basically zero short-term memory. Plenty of long-term memory, but zero short-term memory. If I was cooking at McDonald's and the screen says three things that I'm supposed to cook, two seconds after reading, I have no memory of what, I, what it said. Yes, I know I'm venting, and these videos may be somewhat scatterbrained. Hopefully, only the video, only this video is this level of scatterbrained. I just wanted to talk uh, a little bit about who I am as a person in this opening video. I will talk about myself in future videos. However, the majority of the shows will be about actual topics themselves. One of the biggest things I'm trying to promote with this channel is neurodiversity. Neurodiversity is a concept where neurological differences are to be recognized and respected as any other human variation. So basically I can make a channel like this uh, than anyone can 
everyone loves the highly intelligent, charismatic people on TV and movies and YouTube. Conversely, this channel is a true test to see if someone with a bad learning disability can make a successful YouTube channel. Even if no one watches it, then I will have created a massive personal journal that I can look back on in many years and see how I have changed. I call myself the ASD guy because I am proud to be on the spectrum for autism. My intelligence level is one of the things that makes me who I truly am. The spectrum makes me a very unique and special person. Yes, of course everyone is equally special. I'm just saying if people could be more open and honest about their limitations, then they could be more realistic, more focused, and more driven than ever before. Instead of trying to show some sort of bravado of making an artificial version of themselves that fits what society says a human is supposed to be, we can embrace what makes us different. I might be stupid in interpersonal intelligence. I might be stupid in math or scientific intelligence, but I still have value. Generally speaking, I yes, I am a dumb person, but why is that a bad thing? I'm not belittling myself when I call myself dumb. I have reached a higher state of enlightenment that I am so comfortable in my own skin that I exercise the ancient Greek axiom, no thyself. I like the ASD guy name because it can differentiate me from the competition. I, I have a dream that someday when some kid calls another kid on a playground autistic, instead of that being considered an insult, it could be considered a compliment. The meaning of words change over time, you know. Uh, I dream of a world that instead of the spectrum for autism being something that people are slightly embarrassed to be on, I dream it was something embraced and championed. This channel will be a low budget in the sense that I will not be doing graphic overlays like other channels have. I have tried to learn some video editing in school, uh, but I'm not very good at it. Uh, I think I would be, I think it would be best if it was just me speaking in front of a webcam. What are your opinions about learning disabilities? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day.